Okay, so our left-hand approximation and right-hand approximation is just a way of exactly that, getting an approximate area under a curve. We do know, or we will know, that the integral um, between two limits will give the area under a curve. But if we want to get an approximate area, we're basically just drawing rectangles. So whilst this rule here looks fairly complicated, Okay, really what we're saying is just work out the, uh, the length by the width of each of these rectangles. So the left-hand approximation has the left-hand point on the, um, on the curve, and we just draw the rectangle across. So there's the height there, and we call that f of x naught. There's my next rectangle height, my next rectangle height, yeah, and in reality, each of these rectangle widths are 0.5. So really, f of x naught is the same as f of 2. The next one is just f of 2.5. Then the next rectangle is at the point f of 3. Yeah, it's just that the step size h. Yeah. Um, so, and we multiply by the width. So... The f of x0, f of x1, f of x2, that's the length of my rectangle. The width of my rectangle is just the step size h, which, if you like, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles. So I'm five minus two across over six, which is a half. So there's the width. And these are all the lengths. Yeah, that's where that rule comes from. And the only difference you'll see is with my left end approximation, I start with the left end on the circle. Okay. My right end approximation, I start with the right end on the circle. So I'm drawing my rectangle back that way. Yeah, back from right to left. So you can see in this particular instance, this one here has a slight over approximation because these bits of rectangle area are a bit too high. This one here has a little bit under for an approximation. All right. So let's go to the end. So all we're really saying is let's work out the, the width of each rectangle and add up all the different heights. So in terms of an application of it, my left end approximation, the left end is on the curve. So my left end, let's do that in blue. These are the rectangles, the left end of, yeah, the left edge of the rectangle touches the curve. So they're the rectangles that I'm going to add up the area of to work out an approximate answer. So the left end approximation is equal to B minus A on N, five minus one over one, two, three, four triangles, uh, four rectangles, I should say, um, times each of the function values. Now the function value is the Y value, isn't it? It's the height. So the height of rectangle one is five plus the height of rectangle two, which is 3.5, plus the height of rectangle three, which is 2.5, plus the height of rectangle four, which is 2.2. So notice in this instance, I didn't use this point here anywhere. Okay, let's undo that. Um, equals five minus one, is four on four, which is one, which is my rectangle width. So that makes sense. Times, let's add all these up, 2.5 and 3.5 is six, plus five is 11, is 12.2. So that's my approximate area, 12.2 units squared. All right. What if I now go about doing the same thing, but a right-hand estimate? Um, see how messy it gets over the top. So by doing a right-hand estimate, I'm starting there 
and going across. Start at the right hand point and come across. Right hand point, come across. Right hand point, come across. So now, these are the rectangles that I'm using to work out an approximate area. All right. So again, the right hand approximate is given by B minus A on N times the function values, the, the height of each of the rectangles. In this case, I'm starting there because that's the first rectangle height, which is the difference. See the difference? Um, the left hand approximate, if I come to the top of the page, uses the first Y value. The right hand approximate uses the second Y value. I prefer to just think of it as, okay, just look at each of the rectangles I've drawn and put the values in. So that rectangle, 2.5 is the next height, 2.2. And in this case, we get down to two, but we don't use the first triangle. So again, we get five minus one, which is four over four, which is one. Ah, 3.5, 2.5 is six, 8.2 plus two, is 10.2. So there's my approximate area there. So the actual answer um, is in reality somewhere between those two answers. All right. So you see the difference between the two. It's really the middle values don't change. It's just that my left-hand point in the left-hand rule is included, the five, whereas in the right-hand point, the end point is the right-hand point, which is two, okay?